Hi everyone, Kate here, and with Valentine's Day fast approaching, I thought it'd be fun to test out a perfume recipe called Kiss Me Quick from Lee's Priceless Recipes from 1895. The original product would likely have been a lightly scented liquid rather than a concentrated perfume, which was made from a variety of diluted floral essences. When I was formulating and making this product, I was under the mistaken belief that these essences were esteemed distilled plant extract. I only later learned, in the chapter about ice cream of all places, that these essences were actually made from a few drops of essential oil mixed into a base of plain alcohol. Thankfully, this didn't make much of a difference to my formulation due to the way I did my original calculations. I've reformulated this perfume with the modern equivalents to create a light romantic floral scent. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into the recipe. For this perfume, mix together 45 drops of jasmine essential oil, drops of lemon essential oil, twenty five drops of rose essential oil, Seven drops of mint essential oil. And 15 drops of neroli essential oil. Another optional oil you could add would be five drops of thyme essential oil. This scent is in the original recipe and it gives the perfume a beautifully complex herbal note. However, I found over time as the other notes started to fade, the perfume started to smell less like a beautiful garden of flowers and more like a bowl of soup. <laughs> I'd recommend eliminating it unless you are either particularly fond of thyme or if you were perhaps using the scent blend in a different product that wasn't going to be worn as long, such as a hair oil. Once all the oil has been measured out, add 7 teaspoons of a high proof alcohol or a perfumer's alcohol. At this point, I added two teaspoons of an orange flower water. This was based on my mistaken belief about the floral waters, but it is a nice addition. Feel free to add it if you have some, or instead you could add two more teaspoons of the alcohol and an extra drop of neroli oil. It's best to let the perfume rest for at least a day or two to give it time for the scent to fully develop. This perfume, when made without the thyme oil, starts off as a light citrusy floral and as the top notes begin to fade, it mellows into a beautifully soft jasmine scent. One last thing to note before we go is that these oils are fairly expensive if you have to purchase all of them for this perfume. This is really the type of recipe that's fun to try if you already have all the ingredients lying about but I can't in all honesty recommend that you buy all of these essential oils for just this product. It's a nice perfume, 
but it's not that fabulous, at least in my opinion, to justify that sort of expense. If you are interested in making a cheaper version of this perfume, I've made a few notes down below on how you could perhaps alter this recipe to make it a little more affordable. Well, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! This video is made possible through the generous support of my Patreon members. Thank you.